Hey everyone, it's Sando. And I know this question is being thrown around a whole lot, and that is how to get more skill points. Skill points are incredibly important, and getting skill point potions will benefit not only your main character, but all of your characters. In this video, I'm gonna go over some easy ways to get more skill points so you can have a stronger roster overall. Alright, let's begin with probably the easiest way to get 6 skill points, and that is the Shade Spire Tower. Hop into this instance and reach floor 20 for 3 skill points, and floor 50 for another 3 skill points. This tower is quite easy, but if you're having difficulty in the later stages, you can always come back to where you left off. If you're on tier 2, you can do the next tower called Fate Spire for an additional 6 skill points as well. There's 3 easy quests that I'll recommend doing. These are purple quests and will grant you 3 skill points each, for a total of 9 skill points. First one I'll mention is located inside the Lutera castle. Pick up the quest from the king by his throne in Lutera. The quest is pretty straightforward, just follow the steps and get 3 skill points. The next one is at Serenity Isle, located just east of Lutera. Interact with the pile of wood in this island and follow the quest chain. You will then be asked to collect a few things and you won't be able to track this quest location. Two of these tasks can be finished by heading over to the Forest of Giants in Tortwick. There's a dungeon there that you're familiar with called Tortwick's Heart. Enter the dungeon doesn't matter normal or hard. One of the quest requirements will finish by killing the first few monsters in the dungeon, and the next one a little bit further when you get those exploding rocks. Once you have finished these two parts, you can leave the dungeon. And to complete the last part of this quest, you must head to Salen Hill in Judea, which is located in the Lutera continent. There is a dungeon there called Morai Ruins, which you must enter, and all you have to do is get to the final boss and kill him. Then you can head back to Serenity Isle and finish a small task in the island for 3 skill points. If you have reached Phaeton and completed the Phaeton main storyline, there will be a purple quest that will pop up with this NPC. It is a straightforward quest and you will receive another 3 skill points. You can also be granted skill points by acquiring the Giant's Heart collectibles. Having 4 will reward you with 3 skill points, and having 6 will grant you another 3. Getting 6 Giant's Heart is actually pretty easy. The first Giant's Heart you should already have gotten by finishing the Tortoise main storyline. The second Giant's Heart you can acquire from the world boss Tarsila that spawns over in Lake Eternity in Shushire. The third one you can acquire for reaching floor 35 in Shade Spire Tower. The fourth, fifth, and sixth giant hearts are all exchanges, and you will require to open up the boxes we've been getting for C coins. You will require a total of 7,300 genius coins, so open up your chest until you have 7,300. You will also require 33,000 pirate coins which by now you should already have, but if you do not, you can do the quest in Black Fanzan, Freedom Isle, and Golden Wave Island to get a decent amount. If you still don't have enough, you can open up a chest or two and exchange solar coins for pirate coins at the merchant ship NPC by any port. Alright, so the fourth giant's heart can be exchanged right at Black Fang's Den. Talk to the exchange NPC and this giant's heart will cost you a total of 3300 genius coins. The fifth giant's heart is just north of this island at Freedom Isle. Talk to the exchange NPC and acquire your giant's heart for 4000 genius coins. And the sixth giant's heart is conveniently north of this island as well, over at Atlas, which is PvP enabled for everyone. Just don't hit anybody and hope everybody there is chill. For this giant's heart exchange, the NPC is not always there and has a chance to spawn in 3 different locations in the map. If he's not at any of these locations, come back another time. This giant's heart will cost you 33,000 pirate coins. And that'll be 6 giant hearts, which when traded over at Wisdom Isle will grant you a total of 6 skill points. Also, I do want to give an alternative for a 6 giant's heart. 
If your item level is high enough, you can acquire a giant sword by reaching floor 35 at Fate's Fire Tower. Another way I'll mention is Adventure Tomes. This will grant you skill points by reaching a certain percentage of that territory's exploration. The ones that'll give you skill points is Shushire by reaching 50%, Northburn by reaching 60%, East Lutera by reaching 70% and Rohendale by reaching 70%. The way I reach these percentages is quite simple. By collecting all the Vistas and killing the unique monsters in the territory, as well as the field boss if it was available. Now you might be asking how do I get these things and how do I locate these things? There's two great websites out there that give you this information, maxroll.gg and papunica.com. I recommend Papunica because it is a little more organized and you can simply press on the monster, vista or anything you're missing and the page will take you straight there. This can take some time so you'll require patience. But if you manage to get these 4 territories skill points you can acquire a total of 12 more skill points. And that'll bring the total to 39 skill points. There's obviously more ways to get skill points, but I truly believe the ones I mentioned are the easiest ways. I hope this video was useful to you, and if I was of any help, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.